you can hear me, it is super loud. This is Aysgar Falls. Um, to be honest, it's a waterfall that I don't normally shoot when I come to Yorkshire Dale for two reasons. Uh, the first reason is this is a prime spot for locals and people visiting the area to come and have a look at because it's such an amazing waterfall. Another little thing for you also, a little added fact, this waterfall is famous, or partly famous, for being in a film. That film is Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, starring Kevin Costner. And it's the scene where Kevin Costner fights Little John as he's walking along there and gets basically caned and thrown into the water. So yeah, a little good fact for you there. The second reason why I don't tend to shoot that is for this reason. As I look at this waterfall, there's just too much water coming over it for me. It's too milky. If you stick a filter on it, it just goes too milky, long exposure. It doesn't look good. This shot really, you're looking at about an eighth to tenth of a second, just to get some movement and get some uh, texture within the waterfall. But other than that, I wouldn't shoot it. Now, I'll say I wouldn't shoot it, I'm actually lying. What I wouldn't shoot it with is the wide angle lens. The reason I wouldn't shoot the wide angle lens is because it's so wide that the key parts, the bits that are running slower, which are in the background over there, they're pushed away by the wide angle. Um, basically what you'll get is you'll get this section here and it just goes to white, it's milky, it looks rubbish. This, using a telephoto lens, can change the game for you. Right, so all I'm doing now is I'm using a telephoto to look along the waterfall for parts that look interesting. Bits that have got a lot of texture in it. But if I do slow the shutter speed down, it's not going to look too milky. So the sections over the back, over there, spot on. Here, it's a mess. You can shoot it off the tripod. But the great thing with the Z series cameras, you can reduce the shutter speed down and still shoot it handheld and it'll still be in focus. However, the one thing I will add, it does take practice because at the end of the day, it's cold and if you're shivering, the slightest bit of movement, your image is going to be out of focus. Results are quite pleasing. Now, Yorkshire Dells has stunning landscapes. It also has amazing waterfalls, so you get the best of both worlds. However, the only issue you get up here is the weather. If you are coming here, ideally you want to be aiming for a time of year, somewhere between September through to March, April time, um, when it's sort of forecast, overcast, maybe just a little bit of rain, because then what you'll get is a nice atmospheric sky, and the lighting's really good. Uh, the day we're shooting today, it is clear blue sky. There's a little bit of high cloud, but not enough. So, if you do come on a day where it's really bright sunshine, you could still go and shoot. It just means you need to be a little bit more creative with what you're shooting, and basically, don't have any sky in your shot. So the best thing to do is shoot waterfalls, use a telephoto lens, and segregate parts of the waterfall, so you're still going home with some really great photographs.